Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back in another video from Naruto Explained, and we are checking out every Mangekyo Sharigan Power Explained. What was the last time we checked out from Naruto Explained? It was the deadliest jutsu Sasuke has ever created. That was a good video. Uh, I want to check this out, and I'll probably check out the uh, How Strong is Fugaku video, because I did mention why the last time. But anyway, let's get into this one, shall we? Oh yeah, the Rasengan one as well. I want to check out the um, every Rasengan juice to explain, but one video at a time. God, whoa. Most Naruto fans would agree that the Manga Kill Sharingan is perhaps one of the most powerful dojutsu yeah. in the series, which is pretty crazy given how overpowered the Sharingan is if it's used by the right person. However, the Manga Kill Sharingan isn't really truly worthy of being called one of the most broken dojutsu I in the Naruto so. series, <laughs> or is it overrated? Well, in today's edition of Naruto to Go, I'm going to be breaking down every single power of the Manga Kill Sharingan. Now, Sick. for those of you who are unaware, Naruto to Go is a series where I take a look at a particular piece of Naruto lore or a topic that's suggested by the viewers and go over in four to six minutes. As you guys all know, the Mangekyo Sharingan keeps all the same abilities of a fully mastered Sharingan when it comes to the Eye of Insight mm -hmm. and the Eye of Hypnotism. However, each user of the Mangekyo Sharingan is given one specific jutsu for each of their eyes. These jutsu can be really overpowered. Yeah, they just the alterate, alternate, don't they? Each one does something different. Like the camel Sukiyomi is a genjutsu that distorts the target's perception of time and space, and if it's used to its full extent, Itachi can use this genjutsu to kill its target. After making eye contact, Itachi places the person in an illusion world. And controls how long control. they think that they're for, don't they? Itachi can torture his target for 72 hours and Crazy. less than a second in the real world, as shown in the fight with Kakashi around chapter 140 of Naruto. But in one one hundredth of one one thousandth of one one millionth of a second, Itachi can cause a target to live out seven decades of their Jesus. life. And when the person dies of old age, their physical body enters the Well, he did that for his girlfriend, though, didn't well. he? He made her think she lived like the happiest life possible before killing her. <laughs> Midnight, which I'll have a link in the description box for you guys to purchase the novel if you want to. But I've already covered this scene in detail in a separate video. Now, Amaterasu is in the highest tier Oof. of fire release jutsu in the Naruto series. Amaterasu is created by focusing the chakra in the Mangekyo Sharingan. And Black Flames fast enough, it shouldn't be able to be put out. Faster than the right Kage's lightning chakra mode, yeah, he had to cut off his own arm, didn't he? So it wouldn't burn the rest of him. Range. Once these flames are created, they will burn for seven days and seven nights according Whoa. to the second Naruto data book. These flames were stated to be oh, right, as hot as flames from the I was going to say, so it does have like a limit, but that's a very long time. <laughs> Also pretty impressive when you look at their stated temperature. Amaterasu doesn't require hand seals to use, which makes the jutsu that much scarier. Yeah, because you're not going to know when it's coming. Though mean. it should be worth noting that despite its fast release and insanely hot temperatures, this jutsu does burn at a slow enough pace that the target can remove their clothes in the very brief moments that exist before the jutsu can so it be so got around it. Kamui huh? is one of the five most broken dojutsu in the Naruto. Kamui is so broken. The most impressed. If the user has both Mangekyo Sharingan, they can teleport targets to and from the Kamui dimension, either via long range or close range. Mm. The right eye allows the user to teleport themselves or someone that they're in contact with into the Kamui dimension. Now, if they choose to make part of their own body intangible, then they do this by teleporting parts it's of their into body the, dimension, the Kamui yeah. dimension, making them damn near impossible to hit. The left eye uses long range power to envelop their targets target in a barrier that Just produces the interaction force to draw them into the dimension. What is often seen is a spiraling void that is made when moving objects into the dimension. While inside of the Kamui dimension itself, the chakra of the person can't be sensed, which is absolutely insane. Now, if we go by the Naruto Ninja Escapades OVA, which series creator Masashi Kishimoto did play a role in developing, then another Mangekyo showing on power is the ability to briefly rewind time. Time, yeah, Madara does it, doesn't it? Was shown during the OVA 
today's fight of Mata versus Hashirama. It just makes it so broke. Mata reminded time to counter Hashirama's attack. For Sasuke Uchiha, he has both a Matarasu in his left eye. I thought that was in it. If, like, Masashi right Kishimoto wasn't involved, involved with that, then it's like, I don't think anyone would even, like, question whether it was part of the actual, like, sharing of abilities. And his right eye's ability to manipulate the shape and the form of his flames. Because of how many blaze release jutsu there are, I can cover blaze release in a similar video if that's something you guys want. Now, Shishimoto Uchiha's Koto Masakami Oh my god, what a broken set the most broken yep. jutsu in the series. It's perfect hypnosis. Stripping away you have the no idea you're under it. <laughs> you think you're doing everything their yourself. Of their own choices, yeah. Despite it being the furthest thing for the truth. While it's unknown if each of Shishui's eyes had a different period of usage for variation, Just the theory. similar to Obito's Kamui, it might be possible. Danzo took one of Shishui's eyes and could use the jutsu once every 24 plus hours. The eye that Itachi possessed could only be used every once ten every Years. Yeah, yeah. However, with that being said, it'd be irresponsible not to bring up Donzo's duration could be the byproduct of Senju DNA that he has from Hashirama cells, and the fact that Itachi said it can only be used once every 10 years could be something as simple as this is something that only applies to someone who is a Shishui. Now, during the there is that, Kai, isn't there? Yeah. we learned of yet another Mangekyo ability, which belongs to Shin Uchiha. With his right eye, he can telekinetically control an object oh, that is those metal by objects. Him. That was weird. This that. edition of Naruto to go. Hopefully, I finish this before you guys can finish your own bowl of instant ramen. Let me know down in the comment section below which right. is your favorite manga kill Sharigan ability and why. And no, I didn't go over Susano because that shit is pretty much self explanatory. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day, guys. Damn, that was some uh, crazy ass abilities that you've got there with that man get killed. Sharon Gun. It's crazy. The time reversal thing is weird because like it's only in that little OVA clip, isn't it, from what I've learned from watching all these videos. But still, Sash Kishimoto was involved, so it's classed as canon, so being able to move through time, teleport stuff, <laughs> set fire to things instantly, um, Absolutely mental stuff that you can do with that. Absolutely crazy. And uh, I suppose I didn't even mention the fact that, like, uh, controlling the Nine Tails and that, but then is that a Mangaku Sharingan technique? I don't know. Did Fugaku have it? I don't think he did, but he was able to control the Nine Tails. Oh god, so much discussion. <laughs> anyway, that was awesome. I like that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to check out the every Rasengan after How Strong is Fugaku. I'm going to check that out. But until then, thank you guys very much for watching. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you have not already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys. Here's all of you guys. Next time.